Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great as always, and I'm back here today with another episode of the Apex Show. So let's just dive straight in and cover all the things that we want to cover today. Um, cool, where, where should I start? I guess the first thing is that like literally these podcasts or these episodes are moving further and further ahead uh, to m later morning hours. It's already 3 a.m. right now, I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, uh, I mean like... In the last few weeks, I'm being very freaking upfront, like so freaking upfront. I'm literally managing my feelings of regret, feeling of disappointment with myself. It's it's like literally you're going to be in your life, you're going to be mostly disappointed by the shots you haven't taken versus the shots you've taken. And like the moments of courage, like that will require your courage. And that will require you to step up to the person who you who you know you should be, like the person of high value. Uh, like those are the things you should seek. And like if you 100% know what you want to create, then just freaking go after it. And if anyone tells you like it's not possible, then just literally get that person out of your life. Uh, I've I've met so many people who had so much money. Uh, who have sold like big big companies and even like raised so much capital, but at the same time they're just living like for me at least. Okay, they might be living a great life, but if you just look at the balance of life that they actually have, like it's really miserable. And literally, like that was one of the biggest things, even for me. Just okay, like that's another thing that I ever want to achieve. And yeah, at the end of the day, like okay, great. Look at my life, <laughs> um, not being very sporadic or anything else. Just literally working eighteen hours a day. Um, my, I mean, like the the only thing, the only last thing, the only last snippet of everything that I'm holding back is fitness, even though it's struggling a lot. At the same time, I'm literally just going to the gym at 2 a.m. every single morning right now, uh, giving my best shot in the gym. And thereafter, I'm still returning here back to the room just to continue and finish all the stuff that I have to be working on. And then just, you, good morning, you wake up and just get back to all the stuff. It all takes courage. Like it takes courage not to follow the traditional path. It takes courage to tell the people who tell you what you should do to to tell them like literally I'm I'm, I'm excuse my French. Ex I'm not sure if even like okay podcasts can be demonetized, but literally excuse my French, but tell all the people that they should go and fuck themselves. Like literally tell them that they should go and fuck themselves with all of their fucking expectations, with all of their fucking stupid ideas about how I, how the ideal version of yourself should fit into their ideal lifestyle, or whatever the heck, the heck else they want. And just, just literally fuck everyone else and do whatever the heck you want. And I'm telling you this because for the past many years, and even like like this is literally a thing that I'm trying to solve and resolve right now. Like literally, be a person who who is not who who doesn't give a fuck about what others think of me. Like literally, not being the easy guy who I like I, I, like I've been a personality like that since I was since I was young. Like literally, was just trying to please all the people around me. But at the same time, like the more this has progressed throughout the years, the more I realize that this is the most fucked up thing that I could be possibly doing. Like literally, it's just just trying to please other people and make them. Yeah, um, whatever. Have the courage to take the hard shots. Have the courage to do the stuff you know you should do, but you don't want to do. Have the courage to persevere despite having fear. Because, okay, welcome to being human. <laughs> welcome, welcome. That was so original, right? Um, everything great takes time. If you just focus your energy on achieving one thing, except instead of achieving many things at the same time, it, 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 it gets much, much easier. Don't be afraid of asking for what you want. Because the world was created by unreasonable people. And don't be reasonable, never. It's just like literally 
once you become once you once you just find out how the system works then you're just gonna like try to start doing whatever the heck you want and even me right like literally i have eight credit le credits left i have i'm literally more than 96 percent finished with my entire university studies and i'm still thinking that i'm gonna fucking drop out because like the, the things that are going on there like right now even i'm just so so tied up with everything one of the best universities accepted to the 10th best program in the world literally like i'm so freaking fed up with with the entire system how it works like entitlement like like literally the people there like I, i'm rather gonna be working 20 hours a day on something that's gonna be actually something exciting than literally being working like like doing some weird stuff doing some boring stuff for the sake of doing it and for the sake of entitlement that, okay, you're going to do this. And then you're going to eat frozen pizza with like four other teammates who are all fat. Just for the sake of actually team building. Like, what the heck is this? Like, what the hell are you trying to create? I, I just can't really understand how people can bear this. It's... um. And even right now, like, I just kind of, like, I'm in a position that, okay, I'll just do whatever the heck it takes. Like, okay, if you don't agree with me, like, okay, great, then we need to part ways. Um, you're not going to be around for very long. Um, yeah. It's, like, just literally trying to do many things at the same time. It's the worst thing you could do. Like, the freaking worst thing you can do. Being indecisive and trying to do many things at the same time what is way better is just being strictly focused on achieving one goal one specific goal that you have if you achieve everything else will fall into place um at least as far as it goes if you want to know my insider strategies that have applied like first of the biggest kick in or like the biggest hack that I actually applied is okay I bought the second phone and right now I just literally <laughs> no one is able to reach me unfortunately even not even the career which brought me or who brought me or who was supposed to bring me <laughs> my my desk my stand-up table so hopefully he'll come around the third time tomorrow and actually bring me that table because I desperately need it and Like if you if you have a goal and you don't go ahead and pursue it, it's gonna eat you eat you up alive. And right now, like I'm in a I'm in, I'm in a specific position like that. But literally, right now, not doing the thing that I want to be doing, or essentially not working on, or not achieving the thing that I want to achieve, is worse than death for me. Uh, so kind of like just literally, um, <laughs> like the motivation is pretty hard. So. You're gonna experience setbacks, that's right. Just freaking get back up and start running. Like be hard on yourself. Like endure some tough shit. And do some more. Um Yeah. My my goal, uh I literally again like set set goals for myself in terms of how much I actually want to work. So my goal for now right now is is to hit like 1740 hours until the end of the school year which means that until the end of june when i'll have my university finally finished and then i'm gonna ev evaporate from this uh, this place where i'm currently living right now because i'm just so freaking um tired of everything and just many people I'm, I'm not sure how people could be enjoying this like i literally feel that i'm i'm dying inside <laughs> it's it's really interesting Do more. The more you do, the better you get. Never accept mediocrity. Just literally be the hardest working person in the room all the time. The, wake up, do the work, get back to sleep again and again. How long? As long as it, as long as it takes. Like regardless, as long as it freaking takes.
and create cool stories you won't regret giving it, a, giving it an extra shot. When you're laying down and going to sleep every single night, you won't remember the stuff that you, okay, like, uh, like, like literally, you're going to go to sleep anyway. So you might as well rather just conquer the hard stuff and do the, all the hard shit throughout the day. And then you'll be pretty much at least a bit proud when you go to sleep that you actually did the stuff that you told you would do. Yeah, um, that's about it for me today. I have to kind of pack my things because I still need to do all the stuff. And to, in about less than seven hours from now, I have a meeting with one of our clients that we're working with, um, consulting stuff. Literally just, <laughs> my, my my spirit is dying when I'm working on that. Like literally, it's just, you're working on pointless projects, investing hundreds of hours towards something that's not going to be even applied because those those people there don't know how to market themselves and just come up with some stupid stuff. Like, I'm even like literally just so against taking on capital and going, I mean, like I could do it like many people around me are doing it, but literally the ideas that the people are coming up are so, so freaking stupid in many, uh, many, many, many instances. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Um, the biggest learning point for me uh, from being locked in one room for four months and not doing anything else than working for 16 hours a day, choose your battles. Like, choose the goal towards which you're working on. Like, if you just literally spend... You, like, an idiot can work 16 hours a day. Like, I told the... Okay, like, this would be the biggest constraint for me to actually work. Um, at the end of the day, what I realized is that, okay, um, the biggest constraint is actually being focused and doing the right stuff. Um, because, like, if you literally structure it in the right way and being be super streamlined and focused, like, you're going to create a heaven on earth for you. Um, and everything is going to fall into place if you just have the courage to actually pursue the stuff that you want to be doing. If you don't, unfortunately, then um, you're going to become a part of a vision of someone else. And I don't want to do that to help. To, to I don't want that to happen to you. So to kind of be the person who you always wanted to be, step up. Do You fucking need to step up. Stop being a freaking kid and stop waiting for other people to tell you what you should do, what you have to do, or whatever the heck. Like just create the vision for yourself and go after it. And if there's if there's anyone else that tells you how you should live your life, or like like you're working too hard, your vision is too unrealistic, then you should tell the person one thing. That he should go and fuck himself. Like he should, yeah, like go fuck yourself. Like literally tell, tell it to the other person. <sighs> that's that's great right <laughs> great great thing to end this podcast with like right i'm um, being very honest up front like literally yeah, this is the way i would approach it because um uh, yeah it needs doing like just don't be freaking boring there's gonna be enough time to be boring when you're gonna be food for worms right now it's time to be the main character so fucking step up and just do some crazy shit do some do some main character shit some epic shit and be you like fuck everyone else who tells you what you should do or who you should be be yourself that's it peace out i'm clerking in and catch you tomorrow